All right guys, so now that we understand what a component is and how to make a very basic one, what we can do now is we can check out main.ts. Now, this is actually the first file that Angular calls whenever it boots up your application and it's really simple we just have one line of code in here and that is bootstrap and this is bootstrapping this right here so what bootstrapping means is just basically um, prepare or load in your root component so every angular application needs a root component or the main component so since we only have one that's what we're doing right here and these right here are just imports now I do want to touch on something real quick and that is the difference between the way that we import this and this right here so of course we already know what this is app component we're basically importing this file right here now this file right here is one that came with angular and of course this is just includes the function so we can actually bootstrap our component but notice this notice whenever we write the file pass that whenever we are importing one of our components that we created we use this dot forward this is a relative path that means look in the same directory as I'm in right now so this whenever you don't use this dot forward what angular does is it automatically looks in this node modules so again anytime you need to import something from node underscore modules make sure not to include a relative path like this because it pretty much has node modules in there by default so i just want to point that out in case you're getting some errors whenever you import things so again all this does right here is it loads in the root component all right so over in index.html before we start coding our very first component i want to talk you guys through what all of this is and 99 percent of this you guys already know so this is just the title, meta tags, the link. And right now, I actually just linked to Bootstrap. And this is Twitter Bootstrap, just so my buttons will look pretty. Not to be confused with this Bootstrap function, which is completely unrelated. So again, this is just a style sheet to make things look pretty. If you want, then go ahead and delete this if you guys aren't really big on Bootstrap. Um, these are all of the node modules that we downloaded, all of the ones that we need. And... All of this is just basic HTML. The only other thing that's kind of weird is this, which I talked to you guys through in the last video. So the last piece of the puzzle we need to explain is this script tag. So this is your system.js library. And what this is, is it's for module loading. In other words, all of the code that we write, it gets included automatically. And that way we don't have to go through and include each of these files and all of the modules that we need one by one. So this system JS, it takes care of all of that behind the scenes by default. And if we ever need to tweak anything, then I'll talk you guys through that, but it's pretty cool. So just to give you guys a real brief overview of this and just to kind of explain what's going on in case you get any bugs or anything, this packages setting right here, this tells system.js what to do whenever it sees a request for a new file so one important thing right here is the default extension js so hop back over in main.ts for a second and notice this see whenever we're importing or including other files we don't write the file extension so even though that we're including app.component.ts right here we don't want to write that explicitly that's because whenever we're using TypeScript, it automatically knows to look with a file with a TS extension. Also, remember that what we're gonna do is behind the scenes, we're automatically translating this to JavaScript. So if you write TS right there, it's gonna look for a TypeScript file and not a JavaScript file. So since this doesn't have any file extension, whenever JavaScript looks for another file, it's gonna say, um, yeah, we actually don't even have app.component this isn't even a javascript file so what angular does and actually what system.js does is it actually tacks on that js extension at the end of all of these imports and file names right there so that way we can write typescript and our browser can use javascript and we don't have to manually change every single file extension pretty awesome eh? and of course this last line right here all that's happening is the system.import is calling your app.js main file. 
So this is your main JavaScript file. In other words, it's just the starting point for your program. So there you go, simple enough. Now we understand what every single thing is. We got a basic understanding of how all the Angular pieces work together. And in the next video, we're actually gonna start creating our very first component. I'm so excited. I'll see you guys next time.